Well, the action was fast and furious at the Georgia National Fairgrounds in Perry recently as it played host to the Youth World Championship in barrel racing. Our Damon Jones was there and gives you an up-close look at this premier event. It was the best of the best gathered in Perry as more than 1,700 junior barrel racers from all over the globe made a trip to the Georgia National Fairgrounds hoping to leave with the title of world champion. In barrel racing, this is the top prize. Children have competed in their home districts all year. They have planned their summers around coming here. If you're a teenager, if you're a young person and barrel racing is your sport, this is the place you want to be. That was very evident by the diverse turnout as four different continents were represented in this prestigious event. It's the type of showcase the equine industry can be very proud of. We have youth participants from all over the U.S., Canada, Panama. There's supposed to be some from Italy, Australia. And it just shows how important and the impact that barrel racing has on the horse industry. It's a big, big event. Now, unlike many other sports, the rules for barrel racing are really straightforward, as each competitor is simply racing against time. Barrel racing is so simple. Anybody, if you have almost, if you have three trash cans and a horse with spirit, you can practice. Barrel racing is a timed event in a cloverleaf pattern around three barrels, and it's as simple as that. The clock is the judge. I mean, it is what it is. Now, while the rules might be easy, the sport is anything but, as some of these participants have been practicing since the age of four. Now, with that type of strenuous training at such a young age, family becomes even more important. This is a skilled event. I mean, you just can't jump on the back of a horse, unless you want to try it, and start, you know, racing around some barrels. There's a lot of practice. You have to have the right horse. There's a lot of training involved. And with, and these are all 18 and younger, and there's some very young children here with parents because they can't drive and haul trailers and take care of horses by themselves so it's an entire family oh we have teenagers that are here that are 17 years old and say i've been trying to get in this event since i was six so uh you know i can't say enough too about the families that have made the journeys this far and uh what a what a good thing this is for a, a teenager to spend a week with them among horses they get to meet other teens from all across the United States and uh, teaches them to win and it teaches them to lose. <laughs> now with this being a week-long competition, plenty of hard work had to be put in by all the staff members out at the fairgrounds. However, it's a price they're more than willing to pay for an event they've coveted for quite some time. Phoebe, NBHA, we have been courting them for some time. We were aware of the uh, large events they have with the World Horse Show in the fall and the youth event during the summer. And our livestock director and some staff members have gone around to the various facilities where they were and just talked to them and pursued them. A pursuit that eventually paid off as the city of Perry got an opportunity to not only showcase their first class facilities, but also the equine industry to future generations. With the Georgia Farm Monitor, I'm Damon Jones.